Low model rear rotors. I'm Dave, back with a quick deconstruction quickie. Just wanted to show you with the layout being modular uh, how easy it is to, well I guess identify the parts like say these two legs that these this is module 13 and I've just identified that with an X and same with this one I've just identified at 13 as a dot and uh, you know there's your identification on the on the inside and uh, somewhere down here I've got you know that this is 13 bottom and same with uh, oh, haven't done that one yet uh, but you know there's 13 top which in my reckoning this 13 goes is this module that would join to the next one but it is joining to module 12 on that side so again you know there's module this would be module 11 joining to module 10 so, and such and so forth and the same thing here that for the leg on that side it's got identified with an X with 11 and just doing that top and bottom so I know which legs match up with what uh, screw holes and uh, which side naturally joins with the next module so that all of these uh, holes uh, that the carriage bolts run through to lock the modules together that they all line up and uh, for the uh, track that uh, spans the joint all I'm doing is just putting a single spike on each of the tracks to uh, secure them in so these three straights would be for there and those four curves would be for that area same on this side though I haven't secured them down yet there's the, the four curves for there and the three straights that will join up there and again I'm just pulling uh, the uh, the joining tracks uh, off right now and just getting them staged so I can go ahead and uh, spike them in and these are will stay with the module I don't have to sort through and go you know like in this case there's three custom length pieces while well, the one uh, closest to the uh, bottom of the screen you know that goes with the one closest and the one at the back at the back and the middle of the middle so it's very intuitive the way I'm laying it out uh, for everything to be returned back to the way it was uh, but just thought I would share that uh, little bit as I'm uh, getting involved in uh, performing it and uh, uh, I have decided to uh, deal with these odd shaped ones first the uh, quasi triangular there's probably a specific uh, shape uh, name for it but I've been way out of school way too long uh, to remember my uh, that aspect of uh, mathematics and all that kind of stuff so I'm not even going to bother attempting <laughs> but uh, so that's my uh, my thought and what I plan on doing is uh, using the uh, off cuts of the uh, one by fours and uh, spacing them the, the levels out appropriately and then using the carriage bolts again with the, the scrap 1x2s to physically bolt uh, two or more sections together. In, the, in this case, because these, this section is heavy enough on its own, I'll do two sections and then, uh, as I mentioned, about turning in the, uh, the supports for the, the lighting, I just torqued them in and uh, screwed them 
uh, down so that they will lay flat and won't be sticking out. And uh, what I'll probably end up doing is putting uh, this top and this top together with the track facing in with a, uh, a spacer uh, so that the neither track will uh, get damaged by the opposite and uh, hopefully we'll survive the trip because that's a lot of track to uh, have to pull up and then to relay later if I can avoid it and this was the plan by building it in a modular format uh, with the track back far enough from the edges that uh, well the thought was initially that I could just drop them right on top uh, of the uh, the cork or I may have to put some cork spacers in uh, whether that will actually work or not uh, remains to be seen but um, didn't really plan on taking it down and packing it up. Disassembling it to move it to say do some work in, within the room or something like that but uh, I honestly didn't think I'd be uh, deconstructing the layout to pack it and uh, for another move at least uh, not this soon uh, when we moved into our condo here uh, the thought was that the next move would be into an apartment as uh, very old seniors but still able to look after ourselves and then you know I take what modules I I wanted and uh, the rest uh, I would just pull the track up and it would go to scrap but uh, yeah didn't anticipate didn't see this one coming six years ago when uh, I started building this layout so Salvage what we can, and that's the kind of the model railroader's motto is to uh, salvage whatever we can and uh, reuse whatever we can to to kit bash something else and uh, recycle things that uh, are not model railroad related into something that is model railroad related. So, till the next video, I'm Dave. Bye for now.